Hope we do. At the end of the day, uh, practical lessons that we can all learn from this. And then making those deductions from this judgment also means that we've come to a position where um, a member of parliament could take an action to stand on the tickets of another party or as an independent candidate whilst in the present parliament and will be made to represent his party irrespective of whether he's competing against them or not or whether his party's own constitution goes against his actions he's taken. Is that right? Thank you very much and thank you to your viewers. Good morning to your viewers and listeners. Um, I tend to want to pick something from what my brother uh, Maliba said, which is to simplify the issues for our viewers and listeners. And drawing from that, I want to latch on to this analogy that if you're uh, uh, employed and you serve your letter of resignation to take effect three months from that time, does it take effect from then, there and then, that you said your resignation? It doesn't. Obviously, your boss will be knowing that this person is not something we should be planning ahead with. I don't understand. Or, when it's stated in the Code of Conduct that when I take an action, I forfeit my employment status? Yes, but in your, your, in your employment status, it is in lieu of your salary, isn't it? So you normally have to give them ample time for which it will take effect. If you don't do so, you miss your salary. Is that not so? And you're supposed to give them that period for them to also look for replacement. Is that not so? So you always give them prior notice that from this date onwards, I cease to be. What if, an, 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 an what if it's an action that's taken that um, amounts to you being summarily dismissed? That's a different thing. No, it cannot be. Because that's in the MPP constitution, wait, 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 there's an automatic wait, 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 dismissal, wait, wait, so to wait, speak. Wait, if we have wait, to wait, say wait, this wait, wait, wait. I'm giving you an if analogy. We have to, if we have to say your same and, analogies and, could tell me yeah, yeah, but so in that analogy, is it the case that what they did was to commence there and then? And my brother gave an example of Hope Sinadoya and Co. What these people did was to say that in this coming election, we are standing on either going independent or standing on this ticket. But that's what we were talking about. Exactly. It doesn't mean that they were saying that here and now. I have stopped. I don't, I'm no more a member of parliament. That's not what they, that's not what they said, is it? Are you saying... In the, and let me give you another an, an, an analogy. Hey, Kobudu, let me give you another analogy. Are you, are you saying listen, listen, that uh, Alan uh, Sherman uh, thing... No, no, don't do that. Don't do that. Uh, Alan you Sherman... allow everyone to talk. Yes, yes. So let me yes. talk. No, no, okay, so... Let me talk. Are you saying that... No, let me talk. I, I haven't no, finished. No, let me talk. lawyer... Don't just, do just, this. No, okay. Don't do this. Don't, let, don't do it. Don't let, do it. Let me make this... No, no, no. Don't okay, do please, Don't do it, please. Right, this, is not a, this is the only time I'm getting angry on this show. That's don't do it. That's fine. Go ahead. You allow everyone to make their point. You allow me to make their point. Go ahead. Why am I here? Please, in the same version, when you file for a divorce, that is formal, going to court. Does that divorce, because you have served it on your husband or wife, take effect from that moment in time? Would you not allow the court to go through the due process, then the court to pronounce on that? Is that not what happens? Why is it that for political purposes, we are not reading other meanings into this to say that now the Supreme Court judgment, we are ashamed of it. Copious, copious legal principles being alluded, alluded to here. We are not saying we are even ashamed of it. And that there's a coup d'etat that can be done by men in suit. The first coup d'etat in this instance, that was done, was done by another man in suit in another uh, uh, house, which is parliament. And that we were happy with that. What did they do? For, for you take a decision that changes the, the, how parliament is constituted, the business that could be done. 
And the Supreme Court takes steps to solve that problem. We can decide not to be happy with that or agree with that. Everyone is allowed to do that. In fact, when we go back to our classrooms, it is in discussions, commentaries, articles, so on and so forth, that has been written on a judgment like this, that we will teach. And there's no denial of the fact that there are dissenting views or minority decisions that eventually becomes majority decisions, eventually. Lord Justice Denning in UK kept it. It was so much so that he was descending. Eventually, his position now becomes what is adopted by the same court. He eventually, differently constituted, years later. So there's no denying of that fact. Okay? But for now, this decision simplifies the issues, solves the problems, and we can now go further. We cannot say that the persons who said that in the coming election, I am going to stand on this ticket, has definitely now become an MP of that party. The people haven't even exercised their vote yet. Is it, is, it, is it automatic that the moment you now see I'm crossing over to this side, you are now an MP in this current parliament? And that was the main issue. So we are, whilst we are breaking it down, let's break it down for everyone to understand, okay, that we're dealing with the eighth parliament. The court was of the view that, was of the view that these individuals in the aid parliament are saying that we belong here. They haven't resigned. They're saying that in the coming election, we will stand differently. It doesn't even make them an MP in the coming uh, parliament because the parliament, the coming uh, parliament doesn't even exist. They still have to submit themselves to the constituency for the constituency to have a say. The instances where People will even file their nomination in the same party, and the constituency will change it. There are several people who have lost elections, and it's been changed. You see? So let's not... Can I ask a question now? <laughs> Can I ask a question? You're behaving as if now I have, I have, I have become... Uh, can I ask a question? Uh, I ask a question. Sorry okay. for, for flying. So, respectfully, when we have the word, the wedding, in Article 97.1, a member of parliament shall vacate his seat in parliament. Mm -hmm. Then you go to G, it says, if he leaves the party of which he was a member. Mm -hmm. So the first instance you were, the constitution said, if you were, if, if, if he vacates a, 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 from a party where he was, and, and subsequently, decides to join another party or seeks to remain in parliament as an independent. Mm -hmm. do, what do you think the framers of the constitutions, the constitution we're alluding to, were okay. they talking about a future parliament or a current parliament? Okay. Were they so, thinking the mm -hmm. member of parliament was already or still a member of his party, even though they made reference was a member of, at the time of his election? Okay, so thank you again. Let's look at Article 93 to begin with. 93 says that there shall be a parliament, a parliament in Ghana, which shall consist of not less than 140 elected members. Two, subject to the provisions of this constitution, the legislative, the legislative power of Ghana shall be vested in parliament and shall be exercised in accordance with this constitution. Now, so it's not that another view which has been trumpeted that they are masters of their own and whatnot. Parliamentary power, which is vested in parliament, has to be exercised subject to the provisions of this constitution. Now let's go into the question you gave. A member of parliament shall vacate his seat. That means that he shall vacate his seat. It's not that someone has to pronounce on whether he should vacate his seat or not. If that is supposed to happen, that power now goes to Article 99, where a court, public constitution, will be a high court, based on the fact, will now pronounce that that seat has become vacant. Now, if he crosses over, and that's the whole issue. You see, this was put in a primarily, or in a, in, 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 in a very, to a very large extent, under Parliament uh, in Gromer's time, and in uh, Dr. Lehman's time. 
all right? Where you you have voted for, you enter, and then you cross the days. Cross that's why you see crossing. You see, you cross the days. The days is what the the. the the speaker comes when he, he comes uh, and he follows that and he's put there. Then parliament is now in session. Then you cross the days. Then you have crossed carpet. Okay. Now, because he himself doesn't see what he has done as having crossed carpet then, he did not vacate his seat. It is futuristic. So, if you... And, remember, and, and, and there's a case in court. So when you say that the Supreme Court has not pronounced on this, there's a case in the high court filed by Manede, Manede good friend uh, Samuel Kwakwado. I don't know whether he's going to continue with the case or not, but it's, it's, it's in the high court. All right. If they feel that by their act, they have vacated, the court will pronounce on that. But for the Supreme Court, you see, a lot of decisions and authorities stated in it says that they must bring finality to a matter before then. They are allowed to take judicial notice of events. The, the, their, their main purpose in this, because it's a constitutional interpretation, is to bring finality to a matter. We are saying, by the judgment, okay, the, the, their lordships have said, by the judgment, five to two, that the actions they took are futuristic. And that you, 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 cross to the other side, okay, in a particular parliament. When they have said that, they haven't said that they have crossed here and now. They are saying that they are crossing in the parliament which is about to come, and that is even hinge on whether or not they will be voted for. And, I, and I've, I've met all the parliamentarians. All of them are super confident that they will be voted for. So fine. And, and you need that so that you can project this confidence to your electorate. It is for your electorate to decide. Whether we are sending you back, if you are sending you back, this constituency, all right, no, majority of us belong to either NDC or MPP. Okay. So if you are sending you back to represent us, and you are now speaking with this voice, when we want you to speak with that voice, are we sending you back? That lies with the, with the constituency. Okay. So does it mean that the MPP in putting that in their constitution and even the actions taken by Professor Aaron Michael Quay were all in error? You see, I've already commented on... Professor Michael Quay's uh, issue. So let's All right? I've already commented on that. I'm saying that at that time, their standing orders gave him the power to do that. What about the, the renewed standing orders does not allow the speaker to do that. Okay. Now, the MPP are still standing together with at least Cynthia Morrison in a public uh, engagement by the majority leader. You do not see her standing next yeah. to, 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 to him. I don't is understand. it not that does you does, see? You does saw, the, MPP, you does the MPP have a candidate in the constituency where she is going independent? The, if she says she's going independent, all right? It's not she the, says, so there's notice of poll. Precisely. Okay. If that's the case. And I'm asking you, yes. you are a key member, you are part of the legal committee. Directory, the exactly. Directory. Yes. Does the MPP have a candidate? in the next election to be convened on December 7, for which we already have notice of polls being issued by the Electoral Commission for the same constituency, Cynthia Morrison, who is the current MP, but going dependent in that election. Right. So, your question purports to say that we should take a step. No, no, no. To, I ask you, that's is a, a, that's a my question is about that, a candidate. Precisely. But, your question purports to state that we should definitely take a step we took against uh, the current second deputy speaker and uh, um, 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 what, are they, what are your guys' names, please? Hope and uh, the, the, the publicity. For all of us, are part. Get out of here. Get out of here. You know, he's my very good friend. Let me give you a look. You see? You didn't answer my question. So I'm answering that question. I'm answering that question. Okay. It was a very specific question. Exactly. So I'm answering that question. It was a very specific question. Yes, I'm answering that question. Does the MPP have a candidate in the. You seem to say that we did not take that step. All right. said that. Okay, then I'm informing you. Please listen to my question you. again. We, as a party, have not taken that step against Cynthia Morrison and Co. We are still engaging them. 
No. And so we you see not, you answered in, my question. You have answered in the, my question. In the does that the MPP have a candidate? Okay. In the decision that does the MPP have a candidate? Took, okay. There was a letter okay. from the party to him that this person is no longer right. a member of our party. Right. That has not happened here. Thank you. Thank you. That's a great lawyer. Uh, again, um, does the MPP have a candidate in the constituency? I have sold you the answer. Right. So, so right now, are you going to seek amendment to your constitution in the next conference? You see, before you get there, my friend, Mr. Baliba, was saying that, the, the, um, and my other friend here, is saying that it is a cacophony, the judgment is rendered as a cacophony, and there's going to be confusion in the parties. It's the same Supreme Court presided over by his lordship, the Zatukuba, who in the Zanato case, all right, said that because the high court had not referred the matter to the Supreme Court, all right, it, they are wrong. And he said here, listen, as, as the court, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, yes. As, because they were, very, they, they were varying, they, they, were, they were, no, 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 you see, when, when yeah. you make, your, There's no comparison. When you make your 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 submission, what is the comparison? Yes. All right, yes. please please allow, I allow you to make submission. Flow. Yeah, let those who are listening to us oh, know so. whether it is true or not. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so as the court failed to do this here, we as the court failed to do that, this court here by Somoto Dasu, and then it goes on to now determine the matter. It didn't go back to the High Court anymore. So this is not the only time that the Supreme Court would now look at the facts of the matter and make a determination to bring clarity and solve a problem. Was, it, was that case in the Supreme Court already? I have the, question. What, I'm saying, saying that a matter was sent to the Supreme Court by the analogy when they determined, when they gave the interpretation, you're saying that by necessary consequence of that, it must be reverted back to the High Court. And I'm saying the Supreme Court has not always done so. And the Supreme Court is guided by Bringing clarity to a matter going forward. This is how, when this matter happens, comes. This is how it is dealt with. Now, your matter about an internal party thing. Why is it that now we have my brother here, who I want back, <laughs> and I'm still working on it. <laughs> I'm still working on it for you to come back. Of course, Captain. I know, but <laughs> you will come back. <laughs> All right? And my brother Maliba here. And my senior brother here, uh, uh, I've prepared in advance. Mm -hmm. To now be so interested in MP MPP internal matters that they are now interpreting the constitution of MPP, which is subservient to a constitutional instrument, equally subservient to an act of parliament, let alone the constitution, and seeking to superimpose that upon the constitution. It doesn't even arise. But please, you would take. please, no. my, let, my question let, is let your party. My, let a party. My question, let a party my question is premised on how the judgments of the Supreme Court also yes. affect other individual organizations and individuals exactly. in relation to the actions they have to take thereof. Right. That's why. Right. So let a party, okay, take the decisions they see appropriate. It could be that they won't take any action in respect of the Constitution. It, it could be that they will take action in respect of the Constitution. Let a party. Have make, a sober reflection make that determination. of how things are done. As I said, we are even. Didn't you see the picture flying about? Uh, <laughs> Honorable Afonyo Markin and Honorable uh, 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 Kenne Ken Japong mm. with uh, Cynthia Morrison. And then whatever we were seeking to do was scuttled because already the press took it out that oh, she's agreed to come back. And, and you know, when we are in the processing, you already say that it scuttles it. All right. And so there are several discussions behind the scenes and several things that as a party that thinks about the nation, Ghana, as a party that thinks about just one vote, because this election is so crucial that we just need one vote. The last time it was 23,000, isn't it? Determine this. Now we're 18 million, 700 and something, and we need just one vote. And it's so crucial. So it's not for us to now be driving people away from us, and because we are not doing so, then someone says something says double standardness and it's capriciousness. No, it is not, because we need you. I need your vote. You, Mr. Malibani. Then you said if uh, Sam George decides to come, we will so welcome him. We will so welcome him. Like anyone. Yeah, I'm not trivializing the issues. I'm not. Anyone, anyone who wants to join, and that's what we are doing. So right. we will not take steps that will drive people away. And that is not capricious.